Hey friends, Lucian here with the Bullish Bears team. This video is going to be about how to set up Lightspeed Traders Level 2 windows. So you'll see down here I have a Level 2 set up here for uh, Apple. Uh, so let's, let's do a new montage and I'll set up a few of them and we'll link the order entry uh, tab right up here or box with each level two and then I'll add a chart as well so let's just remove some of this we'll get rid of some of these backgrounds I'll just X out of uh, just some of these different boxes and we'll add a few more level twos so what we'll do over here is we'll go over here and we'll click on new level two right so you'll see it's kind of an empty an empty box right over here. Let me just X out of this one right here for a moment. So you'll see it's not pulling up any quote information right now. That's just because we just have to add a symbol. So let's just add in Facebook. So when I have Facebook up right over here, you'll see Facebook's level two and Apple's level two. But you'll see this order entry window right here, you'll see Apple is with Apple, but when I click on this one right here, you see this yellow box. This is the new level two. This is the primary level two that I'm on right now, but this order entry box isn't linked over here because it's linked to this one down here. So you'll see the reason why it's linked is if you right click in this gray shaded area and click on link, you'll see the quote window for Apple is linked right? If I click on quote window for Facebook, now it's linked over to Facebook, right? So let's just put it back over to Apple for now. We'll put it right over here. So now when I go to place, uh, you know, if I'm looking at Apple and I want to place an order using this order entry screen right here, it's linked to Apple. Now you'll see above this chart is also linked to Apple. If I wanted to link this chart to Facebook, I would just right click in this bar up over here in this gray bar, link, and then down here for Facebook. So that's how you link windows, right? So let's just kind of make it smaller. We'll just make a smaller window or just kind of bring it in a little bit. And let me just link this one over with uh, Apple again. So now what I'll do is I'll just kind of move some of these windows up over here. Just kind of make it a little bit cleaner for now. Let's just do this right here. I'll move positions over here. Again, it's all a matter of your preference and how you want your, your layout to be. So I'll move those over there and then we'll just kind of move this over here for now. And I want to add in a few more level twos, right? So you'll see here's a one minute set up over here. So here's a chart. You know, here's the order entry and there's the level two. So let's go over and let's add a new chart. So we'll click over new and then chart over here. And you'll see there's another one right over here for just duplicating my chart that I have. You'll see it's just so simple to do this within Lightspeed. That's what's just so nice about their montage. So you'll see right here, this chart is still currently connected to Apple. So all I want to do to connect it to Facebook is just right click in this gray shaded area, click on link, and then click on Facebook. So now I have Facebook to Facebook, right? So now what, let's just go over and add a new order entry screen. So go new and find order entry right here. So I'll just move this over here, put it in this area right over in here. And you can see it's still connected with Apple. That's all I have to do right here is click on the gray area, link, and click to Facebook. So now I have a couple level twos. I have one with, uh, my level two is hooked to this chart above with Apple, and this one right here with Facebook. So now my OCD is like, ah, I don't like kind of how this is set up, so I can just kind of, you know, make it bigger or make it wider over here. I can move it, you know, below, move my positions kind of this way kind of expand it out a little bit if I wanted to see more and kind of just move this up over here. Kind of move this over in this area and expand it out. Again, this is all a matter of what your preference is and how you like things to look. You know, kind of move this box up over in here for messages, uh, move it down a little bit, and then maybe I'll just kind of expand out a little bit, right? So let's just do another one right here because repetition is the key. We'll do new level two move it down right over here, expand it up, 
And again, we could just put Netflix for now. Again, you can do any symbols you want with this. I'm just showing you the process of kind of how to set up your layout. New, and we can do, uh, let's see, order entry right down over here. Just move it over. Move it up here. Expand it out. And right click and click on link quote window. All right, so you can see I just kind of, eh, maybe I just want to move this over here now because I want to get a chart over in here. So now I could just go new chart. Here's a new chart. I could squeeze it in here if I want, just like that. And now right here, it's already connected to Netflix over here. So that's a way to set up kind of multi-level twos with order entry screens and charts. So if you're trading multiple windows, day trading, you want to look at several different stocks, have your orders set up over here, that's the way to do it. Now, the most important thing when you have everything set up, make sure you go to layout, save layout as, and then save your new layout uh, onto your desktop, right? Or you could put it desktop or a folder on your computer. Uh, then when you go to log out, it's very important to remember, it's going to say, do you really want to click and save all changes? Yes. This is going to save, this is going to be your default layout if you save it. So when you re-log back into Lightspeed, it'll pull up this layout. If you don't want to do that, you know, you can just uh, click uncheck, save all changes, and then press yes. Yeah. But don't worry, if you save this layout and you have a default layout that you like better, it's okay. Just go up to layout, click on load, save layout, and you can save a previous layout that you want uh, as your default. But this is, again, how to set up layout, layout level two and connect your entry, you know, your order entries as well as your charts. So hopefully this video helped you and we will see you in our community. Enjoy.